Hello everyone, welcome back to, I think this is the ninth episode of our Retopic group. Um, hopefully we're going to button this one up um, today and uh, on this last episode here. Um, so all we have to do is finish this leg and attach it to the torso and attach the head to the top uh, surface. So I'm just going to jump right in and start uh, blocking the rest of this in. Start with the middle toe here. And I just work my way down. Pushing this uh, geometry down a little bit so I can uh, have a little definition for the toes. So that's coming out kind of nicely. Be nicer if it wants to complete the way I'd like it to complete, but about So let's uh, go jump to this side since it's being stubborn over here. There we go. Alright, we're on to our last toe. And of course, it wants to be stubborn, so we'll just. Work our way around it, and eventually it'll get to connect in. There we go. Okay, clear that dot out. Mm. 
Okay, I think that actually finished up the leg. So let's go to object mode, check it out. Let's isolate it. I got one little hole there that I missed. But the rest of it will be okay. And then it's got to fill in the bottom. So um, I'm going to call that good. I'm going to duplicate it off. Translate it over. Center pin of it. Move it off to the side here. Frame it out. I'll use my append to polygon tool. I've been using that for a little while. It's underneath mesh tools. I like to keep it on my shelf though because my shelf is a faster workflow than using the menu sets. Okay. Let's take a look underneath here and see what I can quickly append in. Okay, that works. Oops. There we go. This one out after. I think I missed one over here as well, so I'll fill that one in. Okay, so now I'm gonna let's see here. Let's uh, let's start just filling in this to see what happens. Log there. It doesn't have to be pretty on the bottom. It'd be nice if it was, but oops. No one's gonna be really seeing the bottom of Groot's foot. Unless you're on his uh, bad side. Mm, that one's not going to work. I'm going to do that. Hmm. Then we're gonna have to do an extrusion on these guys to get this to work right. Let's do an extrude. Probably make this work. Let's see here. So I'd be a little creative. Oops. Got to turn off live surface. So I've turned back on a pen to polygon. I think this one here will be one quad. I'll have to be a little crafty about the one that I have going on over here. Okay, go back to Pen to Polygon.
and go back to Panda Polygon. So we're filling in this puzzle here. The reason why I keep moving these uh, vertexes around is I'm trying to make sure I'm not ending up with straight lines. Uh, Maya doesn't like it when we have a, a quad that is made up of a straight line with uh, just an extra vertex in the middle trying to call it a quad. Other programs don't like that either. There we go. Now it's all completed in there. Not pretty on the bottom, but it doesn't need to be. Like I said. Okay, so we are officially done with the resurface stuff. So this guy is going to go ahead and add that back to scan surface and let's turn it off. Let's turn back on our resurface stuff and let's fit our lake in there. So let's see here, we're at 12 minutes. Let's see if I can get this all pulled off. I have to rotate this a little bit so he fits. Okay, let's see these come forward a little bit too. I think that'll work. Okay, so let's do an edge count. So we got one right here. Let's see here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let's see, we got twelve edges here. Let's see about here. Hopefully, we got twelve. One, two. Uh, let's see, we're start with this edge. One, two, three, four. 11, 12, 12. Perfect. Okay. Now combine these two objects. Combine. And if uh, our bridge tool works without any problems, this will go straight over and bridge. Perfect. Has a little bit of a twist. Um, I'm not sure if I like that. Um, Yeah, let's undo that. I don't like the twist. Should be twisting. So we'll just go edge, 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 edge. Our bridge. I guess it doesn't seem like it has much of a choice in this compass. Jump from geometry up here, so hmm. okay. I might have to just go with it anyway since I got, yeah, I'll have to go with it just since we're a little bit on a timeline here. We'll just go edge, edge, we'll go to bridge and like that object mode. I'll turn on my sculpt tool and I'm just going to smooth out where the bridge area is just a little bit. I'll uncontort some of this. You gotta be careful when you're doing it or I'll end up with changing the shape of the geometry which is what I don't want to have happen.
relax tool a little bit and that'll separate up the geometry. There we go. This is still skull brush eyes, change it from smooth to uh, relax, so we're twisting them. Getting the geometry kind of pushing itself apart. Okay, that looks a lot better. Okay. So let's go through and delete off half on the symmetry line. Check base mode. Select half the faces. Delete them. Make sure I didn't accidentally delete something I didn't want. Nope, yep, looks solid. Let's go ahead and mirror that guy. Mirror geometry. Okay, that looks solid. All right, so got four minutes. Let's see if that's enough time for me to stitch together the head. <clears throat> got to remember that head was asymmetrical, so um, this may or may not work. Um, I might have to do some finagling and uh, add it into a final lesson. But so far, we have the body completely done, completely retopped. If we want to go through here and actually. Uh, let's Let's uh, we'll add that to resurfaced. Let's just grab all this stuff just to get a poly count. Delete off that. And let's see here. Uh, we'll delete this layer too. Okay, so now we have with all of our geometry, uh, it says here that we are under. Uh, 2,500 faces. We're actually 2,357 faces in total for our retop. So, um, if you remember, our uh, 3D scan came in at about 150,000 polygons. Now we're at around just over 2,000 polygons for our retop mesh. So that's great. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do for stitching this guy together. So, um, let's see if we can just go ahead and combine. And start stitching to see what happens. So I'm going to combine these two here, turn on my modeling toolkit, turn on my target weld. And I'm just going to start stitching edges together and see if I'm even close here or if I'm going to get creative. I guess I'm going to get creative. It looks like there's a lot more edges coming up from the body than on the head, but we shall see here in just a minute. Come on, go for it. Okay, so you see how there's all this. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve edges over here, and we got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have a lot of edges coming up over here, so we're gonna have to route some of this geometry back up into itself for us to be able to complete where your neck is. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of some of that. Um, let's uh, jump out of our target weld tool. Let's do some uh, appending. Uh, let's go. And pin some of this together. So we got a quad here we can uh, close up. Do the same thing on both sides to keep this thing symmetrical, even though the head's asymmetrical. Close that up, that's good. Close this up over here. Okay. And let's see here. One, two, three. I think that uh, we're going to need to. Okay. Looks like we're going to need to make one of these guys. Oops, vertex mode. 
push one of these guys out a little bit. Make ourselves a new quad. So instead of having three there, now we only have two. We go one, two, three. Those three will connect here. One, two, three. Let's go ahead and jump to my target weld and just snap those guys up there. Oops. Okay, and I think that this area here I'm going to have to kind of finagle a little bit. If I was just to snap it in there, I'm not sure if that will look right. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of stretched when I do it like that. Well, just for time's sake, let's just see what happens if I just push those all up in there. This doesn't look bad. We'll just go ahead and keep running with that. That's okay. We didn't make our quad like we did in the last one, so we got to make a quad in here. So let's go ahead and jump into our quad draw tool, or our pen to polygon tool, excuse me. And we will now target weld these two guys. Oops. There we go. All right. Back to object mode, and now our group is complete. Sets attached, arms are attached, everything is good to go. He's in T pose, so now he's ready to have an HIK rig attached to him, and we can uh, that'll be the next lesson. We're going to jump into how to do an HIK rig, and we'll uh, do um, waiting and have him prepped for uh, mocap. So thanks for watching, and uh, this will be the end of the retop lessons. Um, the next lessons will uh, start with the HIK system, and uh, we'll pick it up from there. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you guys in the next section.